Hey bookworms, I've gotten a few questions about how exactly do we use Usborne books in our own homeschooling and I started gathering up books so that I could make a video about that and well this is going to have to be more than one video. Alright here is Lift the Flap, Telling the Time. My daughter got this for Christmas, she loves it, she doesn't even know she's learning. Um, this book is just great quality. I, I can't say enough good things about this. I had gotten a couple of other books for her to try to work on Telling the Time and they just, they didn't explain it. Um, they just kind of expected her to already know. This book, I would be reading things to her and I would clarify something in the book and then lift the flap and underneath the flap it said exactly what I had just said. This is truly a book where if your child can read, they can teach themselves to tell time using this book. I think it, it, it is just terrific. Um, it starts off very simple with the concept of what is time. Time is the way we divide our day into seconds, minutes, and hours. It takes a second to hiccup. There are 60 seconds in a minute. A minute to eat a banana. There are 60 minutes in an hour. Too many bananas and an hour to make a cake. There are 24 hours in a whole day, including the night. You can see they've got 24 little cakes all set out here. Just something fun to draw the kids in and also to give a really good visual of how many is 24, what you could accomplish in 24 hours. We use clocks to measure time. Telling the time means reading the time from a clock. What time is it? Two o'clock, time to go in. It starts off really just basic like that. And then as the book progresses, you get into even greater, there are usually 365 days in a year. Do you know how long these are? Lift the flaps to see if you're right. Let me come back in the middle here a little bit. Um, they talk about digital clocks, they talk about the 24 hour clock, they talk about adding and subtracting hours. Um, and then at the very end, they actually have an interactive clock here where you can kind of take your own little quiz. 25 to 9, what was the time 35 minutes ago? And they set that on the clock and then they can check themselves to see if they were right. There's a whole sequence of these, the time challenge. These um, punch out, they used to be right here. That was another flap that just completely came off. They punch out and then the child gets to set that up and have an interactive clock that they can play with. Again, that is Lift the Flap, Telling the Time. This book was a gift to my daughter from her aunt. Thanks, Aunt Charity. Um, this one is just called Telling the Time. It's in the Farmyard Tales series. They're really cute. Um, they follow these uh, kids along. Because this is in the Farmyard Tales series, just like all of the Farmyard Tales, there's a little yellow duck to spot on every page. And that's a little added extra to get your kid excited and actually looking at the page and seeing what's going on. Poppy and Sam are learning to tell the time. You can learn to tell the time too. See if you can turn the clock hands to the right time on each page. This book I really would not consider a standalone for learning to tell time, but it's terrific for practice. Um, each page, if you look closely, has a clock on it somewhere so that your kid can double check themselves. Um, and it's also it's setting the concept of time into a day. They start off getting up in the morning, they eat breakfast, they do their chores throughout the day, um, and each page your child gets to set the clock and then check themselves. Is it lunchtime? Not yet, Sam. They go all the way through their day. At seven o'clock, Poppy and Sam are ready for bed. Good night, Poppy. Good night, Sam. And again, this is another practice thing where your child gets to set the hands and then double check themselves. It's also just a fun story that the kid will climb into your lap and be happy and snuggly there while you work on this together. Another case where your child doesn't even necessarily know they're learning. Now these are not the only books about learning to tell time from Usborne. This is just what I happen to have available right now. There's also a lift the flap questions and answers about telling the time, which is different from the one we just saw, but very similar with the flaps um, to get the kid involved in what's going on. Um, there's also a white clean book about telling the time. I highly recommend the white clean books. I love those. 
Uh, that probably needs to be another video about why exactly I love those, so maybe stay tuned for that one. Uh, there's also a Telling the Time activity book. Now that one is for kids a little bit older, maybe eight or nine, whereas some of these are for kids like my four-year-old. Um, but these are the uh, Sporn books about Telling the Time. Highly recommend those. I will drop links for you. Um, let me know if you have questions.